Hi there. This is Chaplain Rhonda Harkins with Daily Declarations. I'm so glad you've chosen to join me right now for our declaration. And it is coming up for the 7th of Kislev, 5782. And it is the year of agreement. You'll find the declaration below so that as I read it and declare it aloud, you can declare it with me. And this is for November the 11th, 2021, which happens to be Veterans Day. So I honor you if you have served in our nation's military today. I want to thank you for your service, and we honor you today. As you know, Kislev is the month of dreams, and we have a lot of different people in the Bible whose dreams were very significant. And uh, the interpretation of those dreams, of course, led people and guided people uh, throughout the Word of God. God has not changed. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. So our dreams can be significant in our lives, too. So let's say our declaration together now. Give me dreams and visions in the night seasons. Align my future to your will. Grant me understanding of what you are saying through my dreams and visions, that I may walk in revelation of your desires for my life. Confirm your work in me, O Lord. Teach me the way I should go and lead me on the everlasting path you are my song in the night. Isn't that good? He is our song. This is based on Daniel chapter 2, starting in verse 19. And all of these scriptures are going to be from the message translation, okay? It's actually not a translation. I think it's more of a paraphrase. So, uh, starting in verse 19... In Daniel chapter 2. That night, the answer to the mystery was given to Daniel in a vision. Daniel blessed the God of heaven, saying, Blessed be the name of God forever and ever. He knows all, does all. He changes the seasons and guides history. He raises up kings and also brings them down. He provides both intelligence and discernment. He opens up the depths, tells secrets, sees in the dark, light spills out of him. God of all my ancestors, all thanks, all praise. You made me wise and strong. And now you've shown us what we asked for. You've solved the king's mystery. Do you remember the story about Nebuchadnezzar? He had a dream, and he couldn't even remember what he had dreamed, but he knew it disturbed him greatly. They were going to be killed, all of these wise men, which Daniel was a part of when he was taken captive by this king and taken to Babylon. And you know what happened? God gave him not only what was in Nebuchadnezzar's dream, but what the uh, interpretation of it was, which, of course, saved all of their lives. Ephesians chapter 3, starting in verse 20. God can do anything. You know far more than you could ever imagine or guess or request in your wildest dreams. He does it not by pushing us around, but by working within us. Glory to God in the church. Glory to God in the Messiah, in Jesus. Glory down all the generations. Glory through all millennia. Oh, yes. Then Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. Trust God from the bottom of your heart. Don't try to figure out everything on your own. Listen for God's voice in everything you do, everywhere you go. 
He's the one who will keep you on track. Isn't that a great translation or version? I love that. Psalms 42, verse 8. God promises to love me all day. Sing songs all through the night. My life is God's prayer. I love that. I love thinking that He is singing over us. I love thinking about the fact that while He sings in our sleep, we can wake up with that new song. And I have had that happen to me many a time. Or maybe it's not a new song. Maybe it's a song that you haven't heard in a long time. But He wants you to hear it. And He uses those new songs. He uses those songs to speak to us about how much He cares and loves us. God bless you today. And I pray that your dreams and any uh, interpretation of those dreams will bless you.